Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, Matt McWilliams here, and today I'm going to share with you the easiest way to get awesome affiliates. And here's the thing, almost no one uses it. Now, I've been talking a lot about finding affiliates, and I've encouraged you to go get this free report at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash first 100. You can also text first 100, 1ST100 to 33444 to get this free report. And in it, I'm going to walk you through how to find affiliates. But I'm about to reveal the easiest, most effective, and fastest way to get awesome affiliates. And when I share it, it's going to seem obvious. And yet, here's the thing. Almost no one does it. So go get that free report, mammacwilliams.com forward slash first 100 or text 1ST100 to 33444 and get it. I've got tons of other ways to find affiliates. All right, so I'm going to spare you the teasing, the mystery, cut right to the good stuff here, cut right to the chase. The number one way to get new affiliates is this. Ask your current affiliates. No, really. Like, ask your current affiliates. Now, I hear you thinking, yes, I can hear your thoughts. I know it's terrifying sometimes, right? I have ESPN. Actually, I don't. I don't have ESPN at all. But I don't have ESP either. I can hear you thinking, though, thank you, Captain Obvious. Like, uh, I know that, right? Like, it, that makes total sense. But the crazy thing is, like I said, almost no one does this. I've been a part of more than 250. 50 affiliate programs and product launches in my life. 250, I mean, a minimum, it's probably more like 400. I guarantee you less than 10 of them. Less than 10. So let's just say 250, 10, what's that? Like 4% maybe? 4% of them have ever asked me to refer other affiliates. That's ridiculous. Like that's, I guess I'm saying almost no one does it. And here's the thing, your current affiliate should be your number one source of new quality affiliates. In fact, that's so good. Like that's, that's a profound statement if you think about it, because you go grab that report like I talked about, you'll see there are tons of ways to get affiliates that you find them on Google, leaderboards, all these other ways, and they take a lot of work. And yet asking your current affiliates, it's easy. It's a very effective way. And they're coming in warm and ready to promote versus the other ways. You know, the number one way to find new hires is not, you know, uh, what are, I I can't name a hiring site, monster.com. It's not, what's the other one? Uh, Oh man, everybody's promoting. I cannot think of it or they, uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, (laughs) it'll come to me at some point. That's not the number one way to find people. Your current Employees, your current team members is the number one way to find good team members. Affiliate is the same way. So what's the secret to asking your affiliates to refer other p- affiliates? Well, there is no secret. It's, it's simply a matter of doing it. Now, yes, I'm going to share some of my best email templates. I'm going to walk you through an email that will work and I'm going to share how to get the other email templates. But the most important thing is that you commit to regularly asking them for referrals. Now, don't be annoying. Don't be obnoxious, but don't fail to capitalize on this opportunity either. So when should you ask for affiliates? Like how often? Well, I recommend making a clear, what I call a clear ask, a definitive ask every six months or so. Every six months. Like that's the only thing, you know, a clear ask is, is, uh, it's an email or other communication. It's sole purpose is to ask for referrals. I think every six months is often enough to be effective without being obnoxious. So that's a clear ask every six months or so. And you can make soft asks. You know, you can make soft asks regularly throughout the year. This is when, you know, a soft ask basically instead of a clear ask is just, you know, it's a short request as a part of another communication. So right after a launch, you know, this is the proverbial hot iron, right? Uh, The iron is hot, so strike. Ask your affiliates a week or so after your launch for referrals for the next one. Um, right after someone signs up, I mean, you know how that works. Hey, thanks for signing up. Do you know anybody else? You want to make sure to give them, by the way, on all these, you want to make sure to give them the second tier commission. I'll share more about that in a moment. Right after you paid them, 
right after you paid somebody, like send an email encouraging them to refer someone. That's a great, hey, here's money. Do you know anybody else who likes to make money? Yes, everybody on the face of the earth. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's a great time to ask. And then 30 to 60 days before the launch, 30, 60 days before your launch or your next big promo, great time. They're going to be excited. So a month or two before is a great time to ask for referrals. Again, you can, you know, PS in the emails is a great way. Uh, payment emails, like I talked about. The link section of your affiliate center, this is a subtle way of, if you include a second tier referral link, it's a subtle way of saying, hey, we have a second tier program. You want to refer somebody? Ah, you know, very, very effective there. Videos, if you're doing videos, include a quick ask, you know, thank others publicly. So if you have an affiliate Facebook group, for instance, and you should, you should have an affiliate Facebook group, thank people for referrals. When you say, hey, I just want to thank Joe Smith for referring Brad Johnson, then everybody goes, wait a minute, he referred somebody. I, I should do that too. Again, very subtle, very subtle. Now, when you ask, I talked about this, these second tier commissions. When you ask affiliates to refer other affiliates, you ha they have to be rewarded and that's done through second tier commissions. Now, a second tier commission is a commission paid to the referring affiliate for a percentage of sales brought in by the referred affiliate. That, that percentage is typically 10%. That's average. We actually, you know, I've mentioned this before. If you go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash feature, we promote other people's affiliate programs. You've heard me talk about this before. We promote other people's affiliates program. So we've, you know, Ryan Elias and Chandler Bolt, Mark Uberti, other people's affiliate programs. How we do that is as a second tier affiliate. And we actually charge a little bit higher percentage, but it's still just a flat percentage. There's no flat fee for that. And you can find out more at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash feature on that. But here's how a, a, a commission, a second tier commission works. Let's just say you have a, a you know, 50% commission. 10,000 in sales. The, so the, the, the affiliate makes $5,000. 50% of 10,000, 5,000. The second tier affiliate would make about $1,000. Now it might be 500. It could be a thousand. It just depends on the exact percentage, but either way, they're just going to make a percentage of sales. So you can do it as a, as a straight commission. You can say, you know, you're going to make 10, like I said, you can do it as a percentage or you can just say for every sale, your referred affiliate makes, we're going to give you $50. You, know, you could do that. There's all kinds of ways to do it, but 10% second tier commission is just standard. And setting these second tier commissions usually is super easy to set up. So I mentioned before, you, know, you need to know how to ask for these referrals. And I'm going to share with you the, our exact templates here. I'm going to share with you how to get those, but I want to share with you, this is the single best email we have ever sent in terms of number of referrals that we got. And it was for Jeff Goins' last Tribe Writers launch. And I'm going to read that email to you now. So the subject line is, know anyone for Tribe Writers? Question mark. And I said, hey, first name, whatever that is. We're 47 days away from the start of the Tribe Writers launch. You ready? Now, super quick. If you know anyone who'd be a good fit to promote the launch, let me know. Of course, we'll hook you up with a nice second tier commission. You'll make about $31 for every sale they make. Just shoot me an intro email and we'll take it from there. All the best, Matt. Now this, this works, you know, that email works. That email absolutely works. This works if you have thousands of affiliates or even just a few. It is by far the easiest, fastest, and most effective way to expand your affiliate program. So make sure you're asking your affiliates to refer other affiliates. Now, there's two things I want to remind you of. I mentioned that link earlier, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash first 100. That's where you can get that free report on how to get your first 100 affiliates. Do not forget to get that. We've covered that a bunch in previous episodes, but make sure you go get that. And secondly, I talked about those recruiting emails, including the one I just gave you and some other templates. You can't use that email every single time. That's just the best one that we've ever had in terms of response rate. So go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash recruiting emails. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash recruiting emails. And I'll show you how to get our best 
recruiting emails. So go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash recruiting emails, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.